What's up peeps? How y'all doing today? King of barbecue with you today? Although we're not having a barbecue. However, we're having one of my specialties. We're cooking up one of my special recipes today, which is grilled cheese pepperoni sandwich. Let's get to it. So here's everything we need for this recipe uh, to build this awesome mandwich. And yes, I did say mandwich, screw you food police and feminazis. I'm a man and I'm doing the sandwich, so piss off. Um, so what we need is uh, butter, I don't really care how much, just butter the pan or whatever you're using. Some cayenne and garlic powder. Barbecue sauce is your favorite barbecue sauce. Uh, I'm going with Hunt's for this recipe. A blend of uh, cheddar and mozzarella cheese some bread and of course some pepperonis and also you'd need tools such as freaking tongs or if you're awesome enough you can get yourself a hamburger spatula but we're not using this today because it's not relevant yo and uh, by the way there are two parts to this recipe let's check them out number one I'm on my knees right now because the uh, table's too short However, first thing you want to do is season up your pepperonis with spices. You can use whatever spices you want, but for my recipe, cayenne and garlic. Let's do this. Just gently throw some all, all over on top. Make sure you coat them all. You want to get them all nice. You want the flavors to get there. I mean, pepperonis are already flavored by themselves, but a little bit extra isn't too bad, huh? You can always have more. Flip them, do the same to the other side. Next thing you want to do is grill these bad boys. You want to get them crispy and hot. Remember that, crispy and hot. And don't forget to uh, oil up your pan or grill. You want your pan to be a uh, pan or grill to be scorching hot and start grilling. You guys see that? That's what you want. You guys want to check up on these bad boys. You don't want to remove your eyes on them. These guys uh, go real fast, so uh, you want to watch out. You don't want to burn them. Burnt pepperonis are kind of bitter and bad, so you don't want that. So uh, keep on flipping them over and over. You want to sure you, you want to be sure you get them right. So yeah, check out the grill marks on these. Uh, depends on what you're using. If you guys want, you can mop uh, these pepperonis with your favorite sauce. Um, as I said, I'm using barbecue sauce, so uh, I'm going to do that on a bunch of them. Get them nice and sticky. That's what you want, nice and sticky. You don't want to put much because uh, the, the sauce kind of overpowers the flavor of the pepperonis, but a little bit that won't hurt, won't do bad. Once you mop them, give them a quick flip and they're good to go. Remove them. Yup, looking good. That's pretty much good. Okay. Smells good. You guys see that? Looks amazing. Oh, oh, oh. And we're on to the grilled cheese part. This is where we're gonna grill our grilled cheese sandwich, put the pepperonis in, and build this awesome mandwich. 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 All right, so what you wanna do now is uh, get your bread, make a bed of cheese on the bread, put your pepperonis on, and make another layer of bread. And you can also add whatever sauces you want, dips or whatever. Uh, on the bread, but don't please don't overpower it. It's gonna kill it. So um, Yeah, once you do that butter up the pan the pan or the grill and start grilling the sandwich Get all crispy on the outside and soft and mushy on the inside. Let's put this baby together Please be generous with the cheese. That's the whole point of the recipe. It's cheesy and it's nice Got some cheddar and mozzarella Yes, that's a lot Oh God, I'm gonna get a heart attack. 
Lay your pepperonis on it, put some more cheese, you're good to go. Let's get grilling, shall we? How do you start grilling? First, butter up the workstation. Take a little bit of butter, slap it on. Get it all over, I think my grill is too hot. Whoops, and all went. So uh, yeah, throw some butter on. Smells good. And of course, for extra flavor, throw your spices on. After your grill's lubed up, time to shine. Throw your sandwiches on. And hear that sizzle. You might want to increase the temperature by this point. Apple sandwich number two. That's what you want to see. This is the second step. Uh, mix a little bit of barbecue sauce with your butter or whatever sauce you want. Get it good. This will enhance the flavor of the sandwich and actually get the barbecue flavor inside the buns. Or the sliced bread, whatever you're using. And of course, go ahead and lube up your pan or grill. I think I lubed up a lot. Alright, so at this point you want to get the cheese all melted and gooey and good. This is my trick. Get a cup of water, throw the water on the pan, and cover that pan. This team is going to cook the, not cook, we'll melt the cheese through and get the, burger, uh, get the sandwich a little bit softer. So let's get to it. Yeah, oops. And now we wait. Oof. It's about time. Let's pick up these sandwiches, put them in our beautiful plate, and start digging in. Just in case you're wondering if I burned the other side or not, I haven't. Here's proof. Thank you all for watching, I really appreciate it. Make sure if you like this, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. Um, and more recipes are coming. Next up, I don't know what's next up. Let me know what you guys want to see. I pretty much cook everything, everything. Oh and by the way, nah, whatever. Hey, no! Come back, please! What? What? You guys seriously want to see me eat that bad? Well, here's the moment you've all been waiting for. This burger is good.